All right, everybody, welcome back, and uh, let's get on with uh, our mission to Boletaria Palace. Artorius here is just resting next to uh, the downtrodden night guy. But he's ready to whoop some ass. So, here we go. No matter how many times I see them, these castle walls always look so epic. Especially now in, in this version. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Well, anybody who's who's watching here, I'm going to show you some little secret loot to get first. Hidden behind here. Some late moon grass, which is even better than half moon. I don't think you have to kindle stuff like you do and. Dark Souls. Um, yeah, no. Alright, yeah, that one's all set. I think you do have to activate those the first time, though. Ooh. Oh man, I forgot how bad Soul Form sucks. HP wise. Only get half a health bar, man. Have a freaking health bar. Hello, come to join your friends. So, seeing that this is locked, I'm going to guess world tendency is still a thing. Which is really a mechanic that I miss. In the later games, I kind of like tweaking World Tendency, you know, it kind of gives a, a lot of replay value, value to the game and to the levels. I mean, look at all that loot you can only get playing a World Tendency, and there's... Is that a gecko over there? They look a lot shinier now. Kind of purple. Blue and purplish. Wish I had some binocs so I could zoom in on the little bastard. Oh, I gotta be careful though, if they didn't change that about Demon Souls geckos, each time they disappear is like permanently. So like, say he's he respawns three times. If he gets away all three times, he's gone forever. Dark Souls, you can uh, you can always reload the game and get your chance to kill that gecko. You can only kill him once, but they always respawn. These geckos, you get to kill more times, but you can actually miss out on their loot. Like him, if like he roll, runs off that cliff to his death, I probably won't get his loot unless they changed it. And give you the loot when enemies fall to their death. Which is one of the, the better quality of life changes later games added, like Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls Remastered. Ah. 
fine resin. That's going to be the uh, stuff that adds flame to your weapon. I think it used to be called turpentine. Darks. Oh shit, that sets you up fast. Uh, yeah, Dark Souls is the game that called it pine resin. Alright, so yeah, that gate over there is locked, and so is this one. We have to take a different route. Hey there, crow. Beware of cowards that had 19,000 appraisals. Damn, this game... Messages get a lot of appraisals. Oh boy. Oh boy, boy, boy. Damn. This armor feels like it has no poise whatsoever. And be, uh, be very, very careful about this hole here because. Yeah, it looks pretty and everything, and there's some loot down there, but you will fall to your death if you take that way. FYI. Just an FYI. And this little bonfire to warm myself up at. Top off on some grass. I wonder what that exclamation mark near my bars is. Oh. Yeah, I have no idea what that that icon means. I could look it up. Kind of sucks that games don't come with instruction books anymore. <laughs> Alright, now if uh, memory serves, around this corner is pretty dangerous. Hey, you're still human, man. Why are you trying to kill me? Oh, 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 you ain't friendly at all, are you, buddy? Come on, can you tell him one of you? Oh, you're gonna firebomb me? You cut, uh, yeah, I won't say that word. <laughs> oh, oh, we are gonna, you are getting parried to death, buddy, but let me heal first. Something you don't seem to want to do. Ah well, your mistake. Looks like you guys got this dude though. Damn. He had the freaking uh, skeleton dude's weapon too. I think it's the Murakama. Good thing. Actually, I'm not sure if my shield has good fire resist. That one we were browsing at Andre's. Or uh, not Andre, uh, Baldwin instead. We just picked up an, a soldier shield. Let's check him out. Yeah, so mine, yeah, it has pretty much the same stats as that uh, shield we looked at in Baldwin's. Except a slightly better guard break. The rest of the reduction is identical. And this one doesn't block full physical, so... And blocks fire even worse, so... Yeah, I'll stick with, uh... The shield we get... And this is the mail breaker, which I believe I have right here. Right? Right. But I can equip one in each slot now. Let's see, let's see. Does Demon Souls get any kind of dual wielding? Maybe it'll feel smoother to wield in this one. But I'd like to swing both my weapons, you know, in unison. Like Dark Souls power stancing. Can't power stance apparently unless I just don't meet the stat requirements. Looks cool as hell though when you do a wield. Alright, anyways, enough dilly dallying. I don't know if this is a good plan or a great plan, but we're gonna find out.
Okay, it's starting to seem like not that great of a plan. We'll try it a little longer. That's just really at least an equip load at this point. Go back to oh yeah, but the bastard sword I was telling you guys about is right or it should be right around the corner. Careful of this ledge here though. Hey, old King Doran, how's it hanging? What of you, though, huh? All right. You guys need to learn some manners. You do not chuck firebombs at strangers. Especially somebody who's, who's only here to help. Oh god. Indiana Jones time. Whoa! Well, that caused the ruckus. Hey, buddy, let's see what you got here. That's cool, you can move the corpses. A little ragdollish. They're a little ragdollish. There's my bastard sword, but I guarantee you I don't have the stats to wield it yet. Or, or probably the equip load. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Let's see, 18 strength, 14. I could two-hand it. Say bye to blocking. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at this weighty beast. Really swing this thing with some heft. And the bastard sword was really good in this game. Like in later games, the claymore might have kind of outshined it, but in this game, hell yeah, man. And look how it looks, man. I could be with, like, the freaking Knight's Templar with the sword. Alright. Time to slay some motherfuckers. Oh, oh, you're gonna shoot a crossbow at me? Damn, one shot at him. Watch this spear guy. He'll poke ya. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Come on, buddy. Take another shot. Come on. Take a shot. Moongrass. Now, um, I pretty much recommend this to everybody. Even if you are a skilled veteran, you probably don't want to mess with Red Eye here right away. Just leave him be for now. At least till after you beat Phalanx, you know? He's. Why? He's one tough motherfucker, that's why. He would definitely one shot me. Ah oh, damn, he's still chasing me. Uh-oh. I do not want to fight him and Blue Eye at the same time, though. Uh-oh. All right, all right, 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 right. Why are you still coming? Oh, the fuck, fuck, fucking... Oh, shit, shit. Shit, oh. Oh, poked right in the ass. Oh, no. Oh. I died. I died. Ah, well... You win some, you lose some. Alright, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should try the Bastard Sword with these guys, but... Because it is kind of slow. 
got a very, very, very slow swing. But boy, does it pack a wallop. I mean, a nice overhead R2, it's not even upgraded, and I'm freaking one shotting these guys. I don't even meet the strength requirements! And it's one shotting these bitches. Granted, I know they're dreglings and it's not that impressive of a feat, but still. Oh, you, you, you. You're gonna get it, buddy. You're gonna get it. Also, you, you, you can block with swords. They don't have much stability, but, uh... Can block them if necessary. You know what? I'm gonna put that. Why oh, you, your tool belt is ah, tongue tied. Your tool belt is a lot less slots in this game. Oh, I see. Wait, tool belt. Oh, so is this like Bloodborne? Yeah, you get two extra little quick item slots. Bear with me a moment, folks. I am uh, switching in the pine resin. Just to have it there. Ah, come on. The only thing that sucks about the bastard tour is it flaks a little bit on, in uh, range wise. That was the uh, that was the bastard sword backstab. That was that was pretty potent. Ooh. Yeah, that's how you finish a prick off. Hello. Come out to my warm fire. Come out to my warm fire, buddy. Come on. Come get me. Oh, you're smart walking around it. AI has has noticeably improved over the years. Except when they set themselves up for uh, backstabs. Interrupted the shit out of me. Hey, boyos. You may want to see a chiropractor. Bastard Sword even uh, blocks fire pretty good. It didn't take much damage. Ooh, this is a bad spot to be in. No, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Don't panic. Ah, oh, shit, I'm panicking. Whew, that was close. Too close for missiles. Switching to guns. Ah, swing and a miss. All right. 
Note to self, this time do not pull red eye. Oh, the, oh good, that thing doesn't respond. Alright, so how do they do your souls in this one? Who's got my souls? Oh, that must be them. How the hell did he make that shot? You know, I'm kind of tempted to go teach that guy a lesson. But, uh, we'll... We'll just deal with this guy. Oh shit, blue eyes smart. Oh shit. Whew. Glad that didn't kill me. Ooh, a couple half moon grass. Yeah, my crossbow. I can get my revenge if I want. He's doing a dance of blue eye. Right now, I could go left through here, but I'd be stupid not to open up this shortcut first. This tea bag, that dude's corpse. Oh, you know, I should cook those fire bombs too. Uh, we won't be using late moon grass for a while. I don't have that big of a health bar. So, some pine resin, some fire bombs, slot it up. I fell to my death many times down this stairway. I definitely recommend letting those guys do what they just did, you know, let them take care of themselves. Why? Why tire out your sword arm? Why stain your sword? Oh, no plunging attack? Well, I guess Demon Souls didn't have plunges. But they could have added it. Missed opportunity there. Why is this guy... Oh, I forgot. Shit, that's why. A doy! I don't mean Dreglin Shield. Oh, didn't those used to be called Slave Shields? Is it the more politically correct term nowadays? For the 20th, 20th century? The 21st century? Now I just cut, it, cut ourselves down some loot, including an item for Stockpile. You gotta be really careful down here. Oh god, I almost just fell. These guys like to go nuts, and their flaming swords hurt. And they set off these kind of barrels. You will too if you use a flaming weapon. So be careful with those. Let's pull this lever here. Open this great gate. Ah, the cling ring. I recommend equipping the cling ring as soon as you get it. Gives you more health. Alright, get the old ragged set. In the jade hair ornament. 
Now the the uh, the jade hair ornament is a uh, it's an item for stockpile, Thomas. Plain jade hair ornament of the kind worn by commoners. Yeah, see what you want to do is uh, go back to the Nexus with it in your inventory and start the stockpile. And I'll tell you about the ornament. Um, which we could do that right now. But um, kind of run close to time on this video here. I don't want this to run too long. So. Instead, we are going to try to finish opening up the rest of the way to the boss. Which, uh, if I die again in route, that will probably be it for this vid. But we'll see. Never know what's going to happen. There's good old Ostrava down there. Under, oh, nice. Lock onto the draglings from up here. <laughs> ah, that would have been cool. Can't lock on to a further away one either. See if I can. Ooh, don't hit Ostrava. Alright, alright. I'm not I'm done wasting my fire bombs. Ouch, ouch. Burn me, you bastard. That's what you get. Hey there, Halberd guy. Halberd had a nice clank too, while was falling to the ground. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those prices rolling. All right, now this guy's juggling. He looks like a uh, like if your ball sack had a face, it would look like this. But uh, he's friendly. Don't kill this guy. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Yes. Mostly stolen, but who's telling me? Not me. Now this guy, he has the cheapest crescent grass in the game. He's got some more weapons to choose from. He's got a good armor set if you, you're wearing crappy armor. The plate set, pretty nice. Um, not as nice as what I'm wearing, so I won't be buying it till later. But let's have a little chat with this guy, since he's a citizen of Bolteria. their souls regardless of their station plummeting them all into madness and those who dare cling to their humanity were hunted down it is the end of great boletaria as we know it but hell at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle <laughs> oh hey take your time i'm not going anywhere I wonder if he's got any good treasure in that chest on his back. That's cool though, he's got a little treasure chest on his back. Love the... Ah, I love the details in these games. I'm loving the details in this one, just like on everything. With all, you know, graphically, it's like amazing. Like all the detail on my knight's armor and these walls here. You can see all the, the weathering and the scratches and the moss. Oh, hey guys, you here to die? Uh oh. I do.
do not want to get hit by those axes. Now, I could go down to that shortcut where Ostrava was. Because you, uh, you can go down that way. Pardon me while I get shot at. Um, I don't recommend it, though. At least, not right. At least not right now with all those dangerous draglings surrounding them. I'm gonna go from below, clear it first. And then save our fair prince. Ah, uh, the roof is on fire here. Yeah. The roof, that roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need nobody, let them burn. Burn, motherfucker! Burn! Oh, God, oh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, that's... Ah, boy. This guy is not messing around. He is taking names. Fortunately for me, I wasn't on his list. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, come on, that should have killed him. 15 damage from that fall? He sounded like he was dying, too. Alright. This is a grave situation that we must remedy. A grave situation, indeed. Man, blood everywhere. Alrighty then. We're just gonna commit a little murder and move on. Alright, now this area can be really, really dangerous. Like, a lot of enemies, probably gonna die. Um, this is what I recommend. Rollin', 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 keep those prices rollin'. Oh, you fuckers. Thank ya. I thank ya. Cause Swore just heard the growl of a dragon. Mm. Alright. Thanks to my iron balls here. Good thing when they hit like your armor, like it sounds, and it really feels like armor. Damn spear guys. Oh god, oh god, we got axe guy here too. show you guys this way but trust me not yet not yet oh boy that sounded like a lot of crossbow bolts oh boy survived that, but I did. So, trying to run through all those guys. Not a great plan. Almost had a crescent grass. Got a lot of them on me. They seem fucking pissed. 
Oh god, they're everywhere. <laughs> god, they're really everywhere! These guys are getting smarter, they're fucking blocking off my roots. My roots of escape. Alright, now I can cross the bridge. Dragon, it, you gonna light it up, man? It's kind of your thing. Oh, here he goes. He's lighting it up for sure. Ah, yeah. Barbecue those bastards. Thank you, dragon. I'm just, uh, gonna carry on now. Unknown warrior soul. Let's see. Hold this lever right here. has been thrown. Can't forget about the loot over here. Some more pine resin, quite a bit more. That'll finance my phalanx fight. guys damn it damn it oh shit there's three guys and they're chucking fire bombs all right I gotta take one out right now Last Chris and Chris. Oh, I got so many half moon though. All right, I recommend using a little turpentine for these. I mean, uh, pine ow, pine resin for these guys, since their shields are. Uh... Oh God, I'm. Yeah, yeah, I died. <laughs> Fuck, I was right there too. Oh, uh, lever was right there. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. I think that's where I'm going to end the video. And stay tuned next time for the fight with Felix.